Hello everyone. With this presentation, I want to begin by first thanking Chris Bartell, Ryan Skinner, and Trey Hudson for their work and research into Skinwalker Ranch and the surrounding Uinta Basin. It has always been a group effort to get to the truth of what is taking place in northeastern Utah. Part of that is what is underneath a particular part of the mesa. I've been torn between this carving below Skinwalker Ridge having originated for mining and treasure purposes or with Freemasonry origins. Whichever it is, the carving is a clue, directional instructions on where to look for whatever is below ground. Thanks to Trey Hudson, we can see that the pointed arm on the irregular compass and square gives us a direction to search. Using the circle within the circle and its positioning within the compass and square, he was able to narrow down where one must travel. The second part of the map or key to finding what's hidden was photographed by Chris Bartell. After researching the location, this rock appears to have been purposely altered and is the second location to triangulate coordinates up on the mesa. Finally, Ryan Skinner located numbers embedded into the mesa. The number two seems to be 314 feet away from the compass square carving. Is pi embedded in this distance? That's what we're still looking into. We know of two caves in the vicinity of all these hidden pieces. Much of this appears to be leading toward the rock circle up on the east end of the mesa. What needs to happen is more accurate measurements using GPS need to be taken, and I need to conduct a non-invasive search below ground using 3D ground imaging and a geosurvey imagery system. My hunch is whatever is underground is minimum 12 feet down. I say this because other sites from the Fremont culture have been located at this distance underground. What I believe is below is prior to the Fremont being in the area and much older, meaning deeper than the Fremont sites. There are sinkholes and caves that may be entrances into an underground system. My best guess of what we will find are an ancient mine, ancient structure, or an artifact quite possibly constructed of some type of metal. One issue with further research is that the location of the ancient stone circle is being contested by three different parties, all believing that the location falls within their property lines. Until that is sorted out, I don't want to conduct the measurements in non-invasive underground imaging. Stay tuned while that's all sorted out. Hopefully soon I'll have an update for everyone with some amazing findings. Please subscribe to my YouTube page so that you can be notified of future postings. Take care.